Ready? Three, two, two one. one. I don't think we need to clap. The mics roll. We've been doing it for so long. <laughs> Okay. Welcome back to Actually Spicy. Today we're going to be making the al bake fried chicken and garlic sauce. I was born and raised in Saudi Arabia, and so we had a tradition of eating this with my family. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm you, not even here. Can you sit over a little bit? Thank you. <laughs> you, yeah, go ahead, start. I'm waiting for you to look at the camera. So no, I'm not decent. here. Oh god, if only. I hate it so much. So because I've been feeling so nostalgic lately, decided to make it at home, and this is our recipe. So let's get started. Look beach we create out. We're supposed to be standing in the center. No, we're supposed to be standing on either side of the center. Okay, well, if you I keep don't standing have in the center, space right now. So. Right now? There you go. Now your dishwasher's done too. It's so hard to record videos with you. Can I go? Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, you're still standing in the center, but... <laughs> cool. So we have actually already brined the chicken. Um, the chicken is, is brined in a pretty simple um, mixture of water, vinegar, salt, and garlic and ginger paste. Um, it's brined for at least 30 minutes. You can do 30 minutes, maybe up to like two hours, but 30 minutes has, has been a pretty good time, amount of time for us. Yeah. Um, the only thing you want to make sure is when you are brining the chicken, that it is completely submerged in the brine. Like you don't want it like sort of only halfway or anything like that. Um, also, we made cuts into the chicken. Um, we made long uh, cuts like this instead of diagonals. We will explain why we did that later. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and marinate it. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to start off with putting our ingredients for the marinade into this bowl, and then once we have everything mixed, we'll add in our chicken. Uh, but all the ingredients are actually going to be listed with quantities and everything in our blog. It's actually spicy.com, so look out for it there. I'm gonna add the seasonings in here as well. Um, will you measure the hot sauce for me into the spoon? How much? Um, a tablespoon. That's it? Yep. Because we got a whole lot of pepper here. So yeah. also we're using uh, Tapatio's hot sauce here, but you can really use any hot sauce of your choice. It's really a matter of preference. You know what I did forget? Um, oregano. I'm going to just do like a, a little. A little sprinkle. A little sprinks. <laughs> all right, and now we mix it all together. So now the mixture is done. We added our egg in there. And now we're going to put our chicken. Do you already put the hot sauce in there? Yep. So now it's marinated and we're going to let it sit um, covered for about 15 minutes. And in that meantime, while we're waiting, we're going to make the garlic sauce. My favorite part. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and make the garlic sauce. Just be aware, this is a, a painful process um, and you have to follow the directions to a T. <laughs> we're not kidding. Yeah, you can do this in a blender or a food processor. We do it with a hand blender. We find it to be a little bit easier. You just have to be really patient. <laughs> yeah, so we have uh, milk, a few cloves of garlic, just roughly chopped. Yeah, so for garlic, if you were to search online, there's so many different recipes that will call for more garlic than what we are using. Um, it can be anywhere from like five to eight. Um, I have found that five is a good number for this spe uh, specific quantity. You can always add less if that's what you want. And then we had vegetable oil. You can use your vegetable of choice, but we like vegetable oil just because it's sort of it's not a, a nice strong flavor. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to set this on its medium speed, and then. And I'm going to move away. Yeah. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Uh, so before it starts running, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. But like when put it on the bottom, run it for like five or six seconds, and then after that, you're just sort of going to move it slowly up and down until it forms like a thick, like almost like an aioli yeah. uh, type of sauce. All right. So let's go. and hand workout oh. so because you have to keep this butt pressed yeah. so you want to do this for about two to three minutes 
um, maybe a little bit more, but um, essentially it's gonna give you a nice, thick, sort of like aioli-like consistency. Um, so now, we're just gonna add in our salt and a little bit of lemon zest, and then just do it a little bit more for about maybe 30 more seconds. The lemon zest is, um, you can add like citric acid or completely skip this step. Um, I like Don't to use, skip this step. Skip I step. really do believe that adding some of the lemon zest in here um, gives it a little bit of freshness and it really cuts the flavor of garlic a little bit. So I really, really enjoy having that in there. And then with salt, it's like literally salt to taste. And give it a little quick whisk. And give it a little taste so to make sure I have enough salt in there. It's okay, can you hold this? <laughs> Our hard earth. This is all done. We're going to transfer into an airtight container. If you're not using it, keep it into in the fridge. Take it out right before you're going to use it. For me, I feel like it lasts about a week. Um, yeah, but I would be careful, right? Yeah. Ne never more than a week, but just yeah. be careful because it is uh, milk. I feel like, yeah, I would go up to like three, four days to be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and put it in the fridge for now, and then we'll take it out once we're ready to use it. So the chicken has been marinating for 15 minutes. Um, we're going to take it out, and the reason we had done the cuts in the chicken pieces was so we can add hot sauce into the cuts. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna create deep cuts so like it actually goes into the chicken. So, and then what we have on this side is actually just a pretty simple mixture of all-purpose flour, cornstarch, salt, and pepper. And that's just so that we can get it ready to fry. The chicken is going to be super tender and it's going to have a lot of flavor because one, we brined it, and then two, we had it marinating for a little while and now we are adding hot sauce into the cuts. So, the chicken is done, it's waiting here. <laughs> um, I'm going to add some water into the marinade that we had created earlier. So a lot of like frying recipes, you'll see that there was some sort of an egg wash, but in this case, we're just utilizing the marinade that we have. Because it already has egg in it. We're going to coat each piece a few times because you want it to have like nice little coating. And so. Cool. There we go. And so between each dip, make sure that you shake off any excess. Awesome, so we're getting ready to fry now. Um, while you're um, coating your chicken, let it sit for a little bit and then fry it. And by a little bit, we mean like you know, five minutes. You don't yeah. need to sort of jump into it right away. Um, so now we have vegetable oil preheating on about medium heat. You don't want to do it medium high because these are thick pieces of chicken and they're gonna take some time to cook and if you have it on medium high, it'll burn on the outside before it cooks all the way through. Yeah, and you also don't want to overcrowd your um, pan. Um, since these are a little bit bigger pieces, you might want to do like one or two at a time based off of like the size that we have. Uh, but yeah, just make sure that you don't overcrowd. Yep. After about um, Five minutes, so for these, for the breasts um, or boneless stuff, like 
uh, about five minutes, you can flip it over. Um, bonus ties. Uh, bonus ties, sorry. Just the thinner ones, just because um, they don't need as much time to cook. So about five to seven minutes, just flip them over. Um, let them cook for another five to seven minutes at least. And then we'll take a look. All right, so uh, these now have a nice golden brown color. So we're gonna take these out. And while you wait on the rest to cook, you wanna put your sheet into the oven. It doesn't have to be on, just to keep them warm while we cook the rest of um, the pieces. That's a nice crisp. Throw these in the oven real quick. So while she's putting those in there, um, I'm gonna start on the legs. So the legs, because they're so thick, um, they're gonna need a little bit more time. So I'm gonna put these in here, set a timer for 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, flip it, um, and then let it go for another five to six minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Google coming in clutch. Last. Here a little bit yeah. yeah, you have to make sure to, to monitor the oil so it doesn't get too hot. Because um, obviously you know, the temperature will fluctuate, but yep, that's the last one. These are our cooling rack. Can I hear the crunch? Why are you, why it's are you important. Stuff crunch on is camera? A, crunch is <laughs> They're important. They're going to hear us when we bite into it. I know, but they, they should hear. Look at this. All right, cool. <laughs> now we're going to plate everything together and uh, do a taste test. Eat it. I am so hungry. <laughs> I know. Um, this is definitely a time consuming recipe. Yeah. But um, it's worth it. Yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. <laughs> so, All shall right. we do this? Let's do this. All right. Okay. So, just to recap, our fried chicken, our garlic sauce, and we paired it up with some fries. Yes. Cool. <laughs> All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Listen to that crunch. Oh, Quit good. Taking that crunch. Get your own. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna dip. Yeah. I love this garlic sauce so much. Mm -hmm. mm. Did you just double dip? Mm-hmm. Somebody didn't come for you. It's okay. I also use my hands to make the batter. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys give it a try. I know you've been asking for this recipe for quite some time. And uh, it's finally here. Enjoy it, try it, yep. tag us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. <laughs>